During the summer of 1977, NASA sent two spaceships into space from Earth. Dubbed Voyager 1 and 2, the two spacecraft took off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, a few weeks apart from each other. They took advantage of a 176-year alignment of the planets that made it possible for them to visit all four giant outer planets. The goal was to reach four planets in 12 years. Then, the mission would become more than that. As Voyager 1 and 2 mark 45 years in space, NASA is now commemorating the completion of the most extended mission in its history. Both spacecraft were able to complete their investigations of the planets in question with great success. Both are still going farther than any other human-made object in interstellar space after making their first trip around the solar system. Voyager's discoveries about Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, as well as their moons, have changed how we think about planetary science and led to new spacecraft missions, some of which have ended as both Voyager spacecraft continue into interstellar space. Both spacecrafts are still up and running to date. Amidst their findings, Voyager 1 has discovered something unique after 45 years in space. What could this strange data be? Stay tuned as you are about to find out. Since its launch in 1977, Voyager 1 has traveled about 14.5 billion miles, that's 23 billion kilometers, away from Earth. Interstellar space, which is beyond our solar system, is where scientists believe it to be. It has been an inspiration for perseverance, as it has kept sending back data despite employing technology that is decades outdated. The task of managing the spacecraft's orientation, pointing its high-gain antenna toward Earth, and conducting attitude movements falls on the probe's attitude articulation and control system. In 2013, NASA announced that the spacecraft Voyager 1 had passed over the boundary separating our solar system from the space between the stars. NASA also gave a recent update that Voyager 1 has been transmitting data of an unknown kind. We gathered this from their open statement which reads, Voyager 1 is still functioning normally, as shown by the fact that it is collecting and transmitting scientific data. However, it is believed that Voyager 1 left our solar system in 2012 when it passed over the heliopause, which is the threshold of the impact that our Sun has on our planet's environment and entered interstellar space. The heliopause is the physical boundary between the solar system and the rest of the universe. It is located at the point when solar wind stops and space between the stars starts. The solar wind is responsible for forming the heliosphere, which is then sculpted and altered by the circumstances of interstellar space. NASA reports that the Voyager probes have given astronomers new knowledge about the region between the stars, also known as interstellar space. For instance, they found that the intensity of cosmic rays is about three times higher outside the heliopause than deep inside the heliosphere. NASA said that to obtain a more comprehensive picture of our solar system and how the heliosphere interacts with space, researchers will integrate data from older missions like Voyager with data from more recent missions like New Horizons. Where were we? Ah, yes, Voyager 1. Scientists announced that Voyager 1 had recorded a humming noise connected to waves observed in minuscule quantities of gas found in the near emptiness of interstellar space last year. Because of its immense distance from us, it takes around two days to send a directive and receive a response back. Aside from that, it is still receiving and carrying out commands sent from Earth. Despite the peculiar form of the telemetry data readings, we are confident that the antenna on Voyager 1 is still pointed in our direction, since we can maintain a connection with the spacecraft. We will keep a careful eye on the signal as it continues to investigate if the incorrect data is being generated by the AACS directly or by some other system that is also contributing to the production and transmission of telemetry data. The team cannot speculate on the potential impact this may have on the amount of time the spacecraft can continue collecting and transmitting scientific data until the nature of the problem is better understood. 
Even with the most incredibly powerful telescopes on Earth, Voyager 1 is incomprehensibly dim and cannot be seen. This spacecraft has been tagged as the furthest remote human-made object from Earth and is currently communicating with interstellar space. What does this mean for NASA? Working with a system located so far away and created so many decades ago provides a number of obstacles in addition to the communication delay already there. The project manager of this space mission, Suzanne Dodd, offered the following commentary. We have entered interstellar space, which is a region of extreme radiation where no spacecraft has ever gone before. Therefore, the engineering team faces several significant problems. However, I believe that our team will figure out a solution to this problem with the AACS, if there is one. Suppose the team can identify the cause of the issue. In that case, they will be able to determine if it can be resolved with modifications to the software or by the use of one of the spacecraft's redundant hardware systems. However, if they cannot locate the cause of the issue, they may be forced to learn how to accommodate their lives in light of the disparities. The voyage of Voyager 1 has already come up against challenges. 2017 was when the spaceship's main engines began to exhibit wear and tear symptoms. On board the Voyager 1 spacecraft, the engineers switched to thrusters that had been operational during the mission's planetary encounters some 37 years earlier. It's just one more thing that demonstrates the Voyager spacecraft's remarkable durability and brilliant engineering. But why Voyager 1 has been sending back strange data is still a mystery scientists are trying to solve. Curious about the whereabouts of Voyager 2? Let's tell you a little bit about this spacecraft, what it's been up to and where it is. Voyager 2 went into space first because the team wanted to time their trips with the orbits of the planets so they could take pictures of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Later in 1986, Voyager 2 finished making the very first close studies of Uranus, and in 1989 it did the same for Neptune. The flyby excursions undertaken by Voyager that included all four planets came to be known as the Grand Tour. After that, the two spacecraft embarked on a new journey to investigate uncharted regions of space. NASA claimed Voyager 2 first reached interstellar space an area between the stars, in 2018. The Sun's magnetic field and its never-ending stream of particles halt at the point where interstellar space starts. The distance between the spacecraft and the Sun was more than 17.7 .7 billion kilometers. Both voyagers are the only spacecraft able to travel into interstellar space up until this point. The two explorers have investigated how the interstellar medium interacts with the solar wind, the unending stream of charged particles articulated by the Sun. They have also contributed information on the heliosphere, which may be considered a protective bubble around the solar system. The fact remains that the work done by the Voyagers has supplied essential knowledge about the Sun, as well as the Sun's effect on the whole solar system. A thermoelectric power plant that utilizes plutonium provides the energy for every Voyager. As the plutonium disintegrates, the heat production decreases and the Voyagers gradually lose their ability to generate energy. To make up for this, NASA said that the crew switched off all of the systems that were not essential, including several that were previously thought to be vital. These components include heaters, that shield the still-functioning equipment from the freezing space environment. However, the space agency has reported that none of the five pieces of equipment that have had their heaters switched off since 2019 have disrupted their functionality. Instead, these researchers need clarification as to how the Voyager spacecraft can continue to function at temperatures far lower than those for which they were built. Hopefully, they will come up with something new pretty soon. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we are sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more space videos.